follow me. We are going to perform a pre-flight inspection on a Gazelle 341 or 342. It's the same uh, aircraft except for the engine. So we first took the helicopter outside. If the blades were folded, assure that no hydraulic oil level is good if it's still on the oil side it's good so if it's on the lower side it's good if it's on the upper side it's good so we prefer to have it in the middle so we have an idea if it uh, finishes or not check if the servo actuators are not leaking now here we have the main gearbox chip detector so we take this out we just check Okay, there are no metal particles at all, so now we can put it back. That's it. This is the main gearbox oil level, so that's good. It's normal that of course after the flight it will become until the red line, that's normal. You check the general condition of the safety wiring, the split pins, major oil leaks or preferably no oil leaks at all this is the clutch check its uh, free movement no binding or grinding all pins are still attached everything is secured you check that the fuel pop-up indicator didn't came up so this means that your fuel filter is good now we pass on the oil engine level. So this is the minimum level, maximum level here. So we, we adjust the level so that you always see where the oil is. For example, if it was filled until the middle, I cannot see if it, was, if it became more or less. If it's becoming more, this means that you will have some fuel in the oil so you have a fuel control unit problem and this has to be addressed of course this is the engine chip detector engine oil chip detector same thing there, is, there are no metal particles we put it back in we check securement here we have the intermediate gearbox chip detector same thing no metal particles at all we put it back we check it's secure close the door if you have that fairing of course here there are some inspection panels for these um, parts but we cannot see that in the in the sun but these are good now we pass over the tail boom we check secure all antennas nothing has been bent nothing is broken here we check that this bolt is still present everything is secured now we have here the tail gearbox actuator you can push and pull eventually just to check you have freedom of movement here below we have the oil detector chip detector we can remove that but I checked it and I'll leave it like it is. We check here if there is no too much oil dripping. Check the condition of the lower boot. All lights, upper lights, everything is attached, secured. The cover is secured, all the tail blades. They sound all the same, so it's good to touch your part so you, you know someday when it sounds funny or completely different, this means that you will have some potential problem. Same thing on the left vertical stabilizer, bolt is there, secure of the four antennas. Then we come to the engine. Of course, we remove the tailpipe cover. 
fuel control unit, check the freedom of movement of this part. It has to be loose when the throttle is closed, it's here. And when the throttle is completely open, it's against the lower stop. It has to be loose, otherwise it's binding. Check the condition of the engine up, uh, shock absorbers. Check the condition and the secure of the starter generator. They tend to come loose here. Alternator, if you have installed or not. General condition of the wiring, no shaving, no binding. This helicopter has the intake silencer. Check alignment. So it has to be aligned, not horizontally, but according to an intake fin of your engine. I think it was 15 degrees or something like that. Torque transmitter, secure. All components are secure. Check split pins, safety wiring, eventually oil leaks. Check securing of the positioning lights. You closed the auxiliary power door. for the SA341